Hey Virgo, got an oracle card for you. Life-changing epiphany or experience, it's time. A big and blessed change for you and God is supporting you each step of the way. So whatever it is that you're trying to change about yourself or trying to change, here you go. It's time. You're going to be supported in this, okay? You make very sound decisions anyway, so what are you stressing about? It's all good, Virgo. Let's get to your reading. See what's going on with my Virgos. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Let's see. What's going on with you, Virgo? Y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate y'all. Donate to my channel. It really helps. Ask for a personal reading. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. So, we're starting out with doing things traditional, the Hierophant. Trying to do things traditionally when it comes to commitments. It could mean, you know, uh, trying to use all your skills. Trying to, you know, shine a light on a situation. Commitments. How you commit yourself to people. Uh, how do people commit themselves to you in relationships, in the job? Also have, must be love. When you're committed in love, when you offer someone your love, you want commitment. Sometimes it makes you all in your head how people do things. They're different from you. They don't think of things like you, which causes heartbreak for you. With the Three of Swords. It's heartbreaking at times. When you think about someone in your past that you offered love to. Six of Cups. Nostalgia. Thinking of happier times. Because. Or times when uh, there was heartbreak. Someone might have had commitment issues. Felt a. Guarded when it comes to making an offer to someone, them or you, you can reverse the roles, y'all. The world. You want it. You want happier times. You want things to be better. When you offer someone love, you want an equal give and take. It's important for you that people come with an equal playing ground. Uh, could mean that y'all are going to get an equal give and take. It's coming. This is it's time. Very stable. You're very stable when it comes to money. You come in slowly when you offer your cut, and maybe you feel like that's what holds you back. When you come in, you're looking very stable. You are very stable. Um, May not come in as quickly as people want. May need to take a leap of faith. Uh, throw caution to the wind. You know, the fool just jumps into love. And that might make you happy. You might want to change things up. Just jump in there. It's not what you want. Part ways and say, peace out. But you want to be happy. If you're trying to figure out what does make you happy, you have options you need you want to plan carefully you want to offer a fresh start uh, you want a fresh start when it comes to love trying to plan for it trying to plan for that stability and that's what Virgos do they're very stable you want somebody stable too you have people that come in quick though trying to make it happen real fast but things are coming their own time. Some people charge in. Say things. And maybe you miss it. Because you're watching. You know, you're you're trying to plan things carefully. Someone to come in and talk about it. Maybe uh, they talk about how successful this would be. 
you're very stable when it comes to your job. Looks like it's, you're very stable in your work environment. Looks like you're putting a death to the hangman mode and not knowing what you want. Two of Swords. Someone at a crossroads don't know what they want. Holding back with the moon. Uh, thinking of all the worst case scenarios that causes tower moments. Uh, you know, maybe it's shocking to you, you know, what you find out about people on in the long run. And it makes you feel like you you try to look at things that from all sides. Them, yours, how it's going to affect you, and them. And then you put an end to it. Because you want an everlasting uh, love. You want something that's going to last the test of time. Or you'll move on with the chariot. You're going to have to move on. You know there'll be obstacles. You know that. But trying to find somebody. There's your card. Hermit that wants to uh, work on things. Uh, if you have arguments, they want to work through it. They, but they want to ultimately stick with you and stay. That's the type of person you want. Know that there's going to be differences, but are, are able to go within and talk about things and share, you know, how you feel about things. So that you can uh, get a better understanding of what it is that you both want. So you can have a fresh start. You can have a new beginning. That you come out of conflict. And that you both can be happy. How does this person... Is there a person coming through for Virgo? Either them or you was not satisfied with the options that you've been given. Divine's offering you a cup. Offering you uh, love. And it seems like you're not satisfied. Or you can become so complacent. And uh, talking yourself into thinking I'm okay by myself. That's okay. You don't have to be with anybody. But if love's what you want. going to have to be an equal give and take with the two of cups. You're going to have to come together. Uh, maybe you've been talking to somebody for a long time and you want to uh, offer them something. You want uh, it to be just and fair uh, when it comes to love. You want to be just and fair and you know you had the high priestess You're remaining really calm, which makes people think maybe uh, you don't want it as much as they do. It's just your nature. But when you're all in, you're all in. But they got to come and meet you halfway. Competition or being defensive. Someone's being defensive. Think there's competition. Or trying to win. Uh, you're having a lot of people come at you at one time. They wish you would come at them. Yeah, with the Nine of Cups. They wish you would come at them and give them a chance. Not that you don't have a lot of offers. You have the wish card. You have the, you know. But maybe you just feel like they're... You're cutting out people and places and things that don't, no longer serve you. Also, you know your worth, and uh, not just anybody gets uh, your time, attention, or love. You'll put to rest anything, any, if you got a personal battle, you're trying to put that to rest at, at this time. You need peace and quiet. Maybe you feel like you just need peace and quiet. There's a lot of uh, things going on. You know, there are a lot of people out there, billions, you know. But you got to find the right one for you. And Virgo's Hermit is your card. So you will go within and you will think of thing, you know, think of uh, what's best for me. 
we have this card has come out for everyone. Shit's about to get real, so something's getting about to get real. Uh, you need your people around you. So if something's getting ready to pop off, you need your people around you. Also me. Uh, I don't know why I said me. It's not for everyone. Or ev What? It's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. Wow. You are a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. So maybe that's what you want people to know. Stop blaming other people for the situation or the place you're in in your life. Uh, shut up and listen. Keep your mouth shut. Listen. Stop talking. Maybe you got a lot of people that are talking and uh, about things that you don't understand. You just don't understand how they could think the way they think. They need to shut up and listen. They're grown people. You know? You're doing the same things over and over. You're going to get the same result, okay? Unless something has to change. So. What does the person on your mind want you to know? What does the person on your mind want you to know? What does the person on your mind want you to know? Seriously, just do it. Apologize. Get in your heart. It misses you. Get the fuck out of your head. Well, good luck with that, because Virgos do go in in their head, and uh, you know, no matter. Uh, stop texting, talking, stalking. Uh, stop checking on that person. Just stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. That may be something y'all need to hear. So that's what they want you to know. Hope this helps y'all. Hope this resonates. If it does, uh, let me know in the comments. Schedule a personal reading. Here we go. Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Get an oracle card for you. A music oracle. Everybody likes music. Maybe you can resonate with this. Maybe this will help you. What's going on, Virgo? going on Virgo 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 Kate Bush never let go of mystery cultivate nostalgia for what never was the arrows of desire are sometimes dipped in poison so maybe you're thinking about somebody in the past they're poison better be glad you dodged the bullet on that one Stop thinking about, oh, this, it was happier then. It's good you let go. It was poison. What else does Virgo need to know? I'm going to need to tell Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Virgo. Virgo. We have Shakira, Shakira. Don't dream about the sunset at midday. Know your rights. Travel is the most effective antidote to indifference. So travel away from people, place and things that don't serve you. Uh, don't just dream about things. Make it happen. That'll help you out. All right, Virgo, that's your reading. Y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have a wonderful day.